I did everything for you. You showed up to clubs. a party in front of our entire group of friends with a girl. Harvey invited that okay. girl. But then, so how do you think that makes me feel, though? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Glass of red. Thank you. I think we need to have a chat. It's been quite a turbulent few weeks. Been a hurtful few weeks, maybe? Horrible, yeah. You say that, but what's, it, what's been horrible about it for you? Because what do you mean? Like, I just, to be honest, I am struggling because I feel like you don't give a fuck. How can you say that, Liv? Because just your actions say very differently this is, your this words is, right. are. But Tristan, listen to me, come on. Please don't undermine the relationship, um, I did everything for you. You showed up to clubs. a party in front of our entire group of friends with a girl. Harvey invited that okay. girl. But then, so how do you think that makes me feel, though? But you're not letting me move on. You can do whatever you want, Tristan, but just but have I my can't. feelings but involved. I can't do what I want, can I? Because you're getting upset with me. I understand it's hurtful, Liv. I haven't been putting it in your face. I've not asked her out okay, because so why? of this. I would, I wanted to have a conversation with you first and see where we were. I will not date this, this girl. Oh my god, this is going to bite me in the ass. Please date her. Date her. No. Date her for me. Actually, do it. Hell, please. Let's, please. You may as well just rip the bandaid off now. Like, it's going to happen at some point. I just think moving forward, I think we need to try and avoid each other. It's hurtful yeah. for me. Like, you know. It's hurtful for me as well, Liv. Okay. I know, Justin. Every time I say anything, you just have to make it about you again. You did this in our relationship. You talk over me and you don't let me finish what I'm saying. And every time I try and tell you how I feel, you turn it on and you go, yeah, I feel the same, instead of actually listening to what I'm telling you. I understand. For me personally, right now, I have found it incredibly hard because I feel like you don't care. I have struggled so much and I've kept my mouth shut. I haven't gone around slagging you off. Even when I talk to the girls, I don't say anything. There's Emily going, by the way, do you mind if I go for a coffee with Nicole? Like, and I sit there going, yeah, of course, it's fine. On the inside, it fucking kills me. Of course it fucking does. Like, that's... it's hard. It makes me feel like the relationship meant nothing to you. This, this is what I mean. This is why we can't be together, because every time we have an argument or something happens, you You don't happens, need to keep saying, well, this thing. is why we can't be together. I'm not no, here to get you back. Why. Don't worry. No. no, I know exactly why we can't be together. This Trust is why. me. Yeah. <sighs> and I guess just everything just... it just... all of it just hurts. Like, that's all it is. That is the last thing that I want, Liv, because there's a handful of people in my life who have ever felt this for my family and you. You know, we had a friendship before we had a relationship and I was terrified that we'd lose that. Do you look back and think maybe we should have just stayed friends? I'd have no regrets about our relationship. Like, yeah. I loved our time together and I'm, it's heartbreaking that we couldn't work. I care so much about you and I haven't known what to do for the last few weeks. I have tried to move on, yes. It's a very difficult field to navigate and perhaps I haven't done a very good job of navigating it, but at the end of the day, Liv, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I love and care and respect you so much, and I don't want you to feel pain. You deserve to be happy. You are one of the most amazing women I've ever met in my life, and that is the truth from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry I wasn't that guy for you. I hope you like it strong. Always. Oh, this is herbal. 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 Is that what you say? Did you say herbal? Yeah. Is that how you say it? How do you say it? Herbal. What was the age? Silent. Oh no. We're disagreeing already. <laughs> oh, no. In England, <laughs> herbal too. <laughs> so I hear you met some of the girls the other day. I did. Yeah. How was that? It was lovely. Emily was super kind, super welcoming, so was, was she? Ruby. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they were both really, really cool girls. No, I actually saw Liv last night. Busy man. Busy man. I feel like we had we had some things to say to each other. Mm -hmm. Some kind of, maybe some closure, maybe some boundaries to set. We want to move on and we just want to do it respectfully. Oh, that's good. Emily said you're quite the relationship guy. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. I feel like, I, I really enjoy like developing emotional connections with people. Some people love being single and I don't get relationships because I'm not happy by myself. I just like sharing mm. things with people. That's nice. Yeah. I understand that, that makes sense. Yeah. I think, you know, as happy as you can be by yourself, like, being in love is the happiest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm also a bit of a soppy romantic. Yeah, I'm, I'm such a hopeless romantic. Wow, wow. 